This used to be Taliban country. Under their rule, schools and stores were shuttered, and few dared to drive on the roads. Farmers who used to grow corn and wheat were pushed into the opium trade. This farmer says the Taliban forced him to grow poppies. Today, Nawa tells a different story. The streets are coming back to life. Everything changed on July 2nd when U.S. Marines launched one of the biggest military offenses to date in Afghanistan. 4,000 Marines fanned out across Helmand province as part of Operation Strike of the Sword. Nearly 1,000 of those troops flew into Nawa that night, routing hundreds of Taliban in less than 24 hours. We did the clear as quickly as we could. We didn't uh, injure a lot of innocent people, and we didn't destroy a lot of infrastructure to do it. The Marines have pushed them out, but if local government doesn't step in and significantly improve people's living standards, it's only a matter of time before the Taliban comes back. The Taliban has regrouped seven miles to the northwest, and the Marines still have regular firefights with them. Oh, yeah, it's still a very big issue. But already USAID has brought in a new weapon, 26-year-old civilian Scott Dempsey. Walk down and, and find the different problems that are on the canal. Yeah. His job? To win over the locals by helping to fix what's broken, making roads passable, repairing irrigation canals, and most of all, turning on cell phone service, despite Taliban threats to blow up the towers. And the cell phones don't work here because the Taliban don't want them to work. So that's a, a power play that the, the Taliban has. Other things are working. The road to the closest city, Lashkar Ga, is open again. The village even has its first freezer. And shop owners say business is better now that the Americans have come. This is the new approach to counterinsurgency, and it has a high price in money, time, and personnel. On this day, Dempsey is hoping to involve Afghans in repairing this road. They're haggling over the cost of labor. 40 k OK. This is, that's, that's, that's a very high price. The Marines have 1,000 men to rebuild and protect Nawa, one small district of 100,000 people. But at current troop levels, the U.S. simply cannot replicate the Nawa model of counterinsurgency in all of Afghanistan's trouble spots. The district governor is afraid of what would happen if the U.S. left here too soon. He compares the Taliban to an infection that could easily grow back again. Because Afghans have been through 30 years of warfare. They've, they've seen it all. And so uh, they want a uh, assurance by us that, that we're going to stay. And, and that will only happen through time. Ultimately, Dempsey can't give that assurance. For now, Dempsey and the villagers are just living one day and one ditch at a time. Terry McCarthy, CBS News, Nawa, Southern Afghanistan.